Tonight in Fort Smith, police are investigating an accident that claimed the life of a young teenager. It happened Friday evening on Kelly Highway at North 44th Street. Fort Smith police say a 13-year-old boy was walking when he was hit by a car. He died at the scene. The driver, Craig Asplund, was arrested on suspicion of impairment and charged with DWI. The boy's family talked to us and 5 News reporter Rachel Williams about what they want to be done. My brother is a sweet, innocent little boy. He loved to play Minecraft. He, he always said when he grew up, he wanted to be a scientist. 13-year-old Nehemiah Jackson was walking home from the library on Friday when police say a driver hit and killed him. The driver, Craig Asplund, was charged with the DWI. My brother was just a normal, innocent child who barely turned 13 not that long ago. He didn't deserve this and I will fight for his justice in any way that I can. Older siblings Jose Garcia and Rosa Ramirez are searching for answers and action from law enforcement as there have been multiple instances of crashes involving cyclists and pedestrians. How much more lives do we have to lose in order for people to do better? This is not the first time this has happened to a child at Fort Smith. Why not stay around school areas a couple hours out of your shift to make sure the kids get home safe. So much of this could have been prevented. In September, Fort Smith Board of Directors adopted a comprehensive safety action plan called Safe Fort Smith to serve as a guide for new city projects and future policies. The uh, safety action plan actually outlines all of those hot spots, like what are the areas where um, those accidents are occurring more frequently. Um, right now, yearly, about nine of those accidents result in a fatality, and there's almost $13 million worth of property damage done because of these accidents, so we want to help stop that. Josh Bufink with the City of Fort Smith says roads like Grand Avenue and Kelly Highway need improvement for pedestrian safety. It's about lighting those spaces up and figuring out other ways we can make it safer. We added the RRFB beacons, but there, there are always ways we can improve, especially you know places like Kelly Highway where that unfortunate incident happened. As the family seeks closure, they hope justice for Nehemiah will be served. Something inside me is just, it's too soon, but I hope that I could later on forgive him for what he did that God helps him as well realize what he did to open his eyes. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.